we have a lung tissue under microscope stained with hematoxylin and eosin nuclei are appearing uh, bluish in color this is how a normal lung tissue looks alveolar walls are visible the walls of alveoli are only single cell thick providing maximum space for gas exchange you can occasionally see tiny blood vessels or red blood cells within interstitium this is also a tiny uh, blood vessel filled with uh, red blood cells interstitium is the space between alveoli and it contains blood vessels a small amount of non proteinaceous fluid lymphatics and connective tissues and of course it is very difficult for you to identify uh, especially for the beginners and some cannot be identified with hematoxylin and eosin stain what you have to memorize at this stage that this should be the ratio of thickness of alveolar wall and the diameter of alveoli presence of anything within alveoli is not normal it should be uh, the alveoli should be filled with air only similarly the walls of the alveoli should not be any thicker than this if they are any thicker than this it is abnormal most abnormalities will be visible under microscope some have distinct features to specifically identify a condition some are indistinct but still would point towards a group of conditions while excluding others the end result of any abnormality within lung parenchyma will cause ventilation perfusion a mismatch because of one of the three reasons inadequate ventilation inadequate perfusion and uh, number three inadequate uh, diffusion ventilation refers to adequate supply of air to alveoli of lungs perfusion refers to the uh, adequate supply of blood to a tissue and in our example lung tissue diffusion is the ability of gas to pass through the alveolar capillary membrane to reach the red blood cells to be uh, for the oxygen to be absorbed and carbon dioxide to be removed uh, of the blood and it's uh, a good time to uh, use this occasion to describe some of the common conditions of lungs pulmonary edema is a condition in which alveoli of lungs get filled with a pinkish plasma fluid leaked from tiny blood vessels around the alveoli of lungs and this happens because of the congestion uh, first uh, the fluid is leaked into the interstitium which is the space between alveoli and then uh, the uh, fluid is leaked into the alveoli it can be cardiogenic in nature or non cardiogenic it is said cardiogenic when either left ventricle fails to push enough blood to aorta for example because of myocardial infarction uh, which is uh, heart attack or left atrium fails to push blood to left ventricle for example because of presence of tumor within it in any case the veins that transport blood from lungs to left atrium get congested because of back pressure and because alveoli are filled with fluid oxygen cannot enter into alveoli and ventilation perfusion mismatch occurs as a result of lack of ventilation you'll see a pinkish fluid in such a case usually uh, without any inflammatory cells means without any white blood cells this fluid is known as transudate in case of infections for example bacterial pneumonia it is often hard to see bacteria within alveoli under light microscopy but what you will see what you will clearly see is uh, will be the presence of inflammatory cells means white blood cells such as neutrophils and macrophages within alveoli possibly with fibrin and blood in acute phase you'll see cells uh, with nuclei that have multiple lobes these are neutrophils uh, and in subacute phase you'll see mainly macrophages that are trying to uh, phagocytose or eat up 
the bacteria and even the dead uh, neutrophils. This will also result in inadequate ventilation because alveoli do not have any room for air to come in. Such fluid within alveoli is composed of dead or alive neutrophils, macrophages, blood and fibrin and is known as exudate.